So hi. Actually, this was a scheduled call with some client who felt she is depleted uh, by this time. So I thought I should record something useful that is going on inside my brain today, whole day. So. <coughs> How, uh, what about market research uh, in my case, uh, when I'm thinking of digital space and my services and what I think uh, I should contribute to the, uh, to the mid-career professionals uh, as, as a learning uh, in my case. What I saw is uh, like a very efficient people, very talented people uh, in an office environment sometimes get stuck and uh, so much stuck that they, uh, they, they do not, they uh, are not able to recover from that uh, lethargy and uh, kind of uh, default uh, deadline after deadline and uh, eventually they fail. <laughs> So why this thing happens when somebody is so very talented, so very uh, trained and uh, is uh, designed for this uh, job and has been handsomely paid also. And um, uh, <clears throat> he has uh, many ideas going inside his brain and when he speaks, it is uh, kind of uh, a, a joy to watch, joy to hear him or her, still these people are not successful, why? <clears throat> Second scenario is when I travel by Metro, I hear so many people complaining about their office environment. And uh, even if they travel say for uh, 30 minutes or 40 minutes by Metro, all the while they will be gossiping about their office environment, the neg negative circumstances, uh, their uh, conflict with uh, somebody, maybe sometimes uh, their bosses or uh, with another department and, uh, and so, so on and so forth. So <clears throat> what these people were doing, uh, why these people were not succeeding. And even in my own, uh, own group also, several people more talented very talented, actually, <laughs> very promising. They also fail at the deadline. And because of that, somebody else actually um, surpasses them and these people get stuck so much so that they uh, don't feel that zeal to uh, recover and get going again. And uh, as a result, uh, they get stuck and <clears throat> they do not complete some task. Uh, so there are several tasks, one task after another, those tasks are overlooked and things remain incomplete. And eventually um, there is no sense of uh, real achievement in their case and uh, the, the um, satisfaction level also goes down. And uh, of course the performance also goes down. <laughs> So uh, when I uh, so, uh, analyze all this uh, environment and also I have read so many success principles as well, uh, everywhere it is uh, saying that pe people should take timely decisions, uh, people should take timely actions, people should be in a very high energy level and that energy level also is not there. <laughs> so what is the trick? Like say the uh, one cannot change the world as such, the environment, the um, kind of people that we are uh, with and the circumstances that uh, all of us are in and external circumstances over which we do not have any control and <coughs> everyday happenings where uh, it will be a mix of uh, good and bad. Uh, so how do we, how do we handle all this? Uh, to get into a joyful mode, to be more productive. <clears throat> so this, these are the circumstances which uh, provided me 
about the market uh, that uh, requires some some kind of solution and the bigger part that i saw was like say <coughs> can you tell any office goers who is having a lot of problem at office space uh, that uh, there can be a solution to it the only solution he or she can think of is quitting quitting that post and going to another place for a better job condition or for a job, better renewalization. But the exact reason is that there is conflict at present workplace and they want to avoid that um, and want to have a better workplace at somewhere else. But uh, the, the with the same person who is... Uh, carrying himself with the same mindset, they are going to have similar set of some set of people at the new place as, <laughs> as well. How can you ensure that the new place will be better? So it is not the external circumstances, right? It is the person who himself has to learn uh, to deal with the present kind of uh, circumstances. and. <laughs> They, uh, he or she has to find out a solution they, here and here itself, now itself. So um, it is not about the other person. It is not about another place. It is not about another opportunity. It is here and now. So in that case, uh, what does one do? So, <clears throat> so if we go, uh, if we try to change the other person. The other person, is, it is a huge, uh, huge task no? uh, to ask the other person to change, <laughs> change according to what we are thinking. Is it possible? It's not possible even. So why the other person will listen to you, listen to us uh, and behave in, in a manner that we want them to be. So, that is when I saw that it is the uh, whether it is the same person or uh, the other person, it is the perception, action, habit, and attitude. We, uh, these are the four pack factors which actually um, uh, designs the whole day. And like I say, uh, whether one takes action or not, it uh, depends upon the habit. And the habit is driven by the attitude one has towards life. And um, if your um, <clears throat> if you are okay with not taking action, then and there, then that is this is a uh, matter of habit. So this habit has been there <laughs> uh, since long for quite some time, and. Uh, we are okay with uh, not taking action, and that is that is why we are not taking action, right? So that is that is where a change of uh, habit is required to take action. Taking an action is not the foremost thing, but being okay with not taking action is a habit, and uh, that is uh, the, that is the attitude one has. Like say, suppose <laughs> you know, whatever is our habit, it is. It is a it is a kind of attitude on our part uh, which is apparent to the other person, and uh, attitude is also about perception uh, as to how we think about several things. Not taking action uh, is uh, is okay with us. That is a perception. It, it can be okay for us, but for the other person, it may not be um, okay. And that is where the conflict happens. So uh, whether the other person is uh, thinking good or bad or something, that is, that is of course, not, uh, uh, should not bother one, but when it affects the collective performance, then and if one is responsible for the collective performance and your own uh, performance also matters <coughs> in the overall performance, then this is where you, you 
one should take stock of uh, this situation and um, <clears throat> bring about the change in uh, uh, in the habits, action, mindset, attitude, whatever we see. So it is not an overnight thing. It takes practice, right? And uh, whenever we are, uh, like say, very um, by by choice by habit, we we decide to do something, whether uh, it, it is. Uh, negative for the circumstance or for our own sake. Irrespective of that, if we decide something, um, uh, if it is a reflexive action, then um, <coughs> then then uh, one should pause for a moment and uh, take uh, take. Uh, take a close view of why such an action is being taken. The reflection on one's part, that has to be immediately there and it, it, it should take a moment to reflect and to decide otherwise. Like say, if we can do that, it is, it is just that the, the work is done. But to be able to decide within a moment, within, within a second, this takes practice so and that practice happens only when there is a lot of change of thought process inside uh, the mind and uh, how one thinks um, about the entire process suppose uh, one becomes angry at something to let go of that anger and <laughs> think positively about the learning or the lesson that one is getting that is about a 180 degree change, right? One, one's perspective is changed at that. And uh, to do that, it is not easy. It, it, is, it, it will not happen with just one, uh, uh, with just one go. It, it, it will take several hours, several days, um, maybe months practice to uh, instantly decide uh, to let go of the anger and uh, look at the positive uh, aspect of the uh, positive side of uh, the incidents that has happened. So uh, it is, uh, so when somebody asks me, uh, like say, what are the sure sort uh, ways to uh, be uh, very, very productive? Actually, it is, it is just a matter of perception, action, habit, and attitude. That is what I, I can say. But to form a habit, to form uh, an attitude, to have an altered perception, it takes a lot, lot and lot of practice. And there is a, there is a uh, systematic way to practice it. And that is what is performance optimization about. And uh, um, yeah, so what one gets if one uh, gets into the course. It enhances one's performance immediately. It enhances joyfulness uh, in every day's life. And it um, actually uh, impacts the health and uh, the exuberance of one uh, a person in a multiple uh, manner. And uh, that actually gives a very positive uh, uh, positive perception about the, that kind of person. And uh, eventually, uh, eventually a person is uh, chosen or uh, preferred over somebody else with similar kind of qualification and experience is because of the attitude, right? If you ask me, then I'll, I'll actually take somebody with a good attitude uh, with a little uh, with less experience or less uh, qualification than to have a better qualified person with a bad attitude so what uh, and there is there are several studies which say that people get fired not because of their uh, lack of qualification but for their attitude so if we take all that into account then of course, obviously, it is uh, this. This is worth uh, 
thinking over yeah and uh, why at all i think about joyfulness and being exuberant at workplace what will happen if uh, the work is uh, getting done it is for somebody else right we are not doing anything else for ourselves but uh, for <laughs> to have something done for ourselves also we need to take action right if we are habitually non action taker then we are not going to do anything for ourselves at all, uh, as well so that also becomes a failure for ourselves how can we take uh, a dream to its uh, realization if we don't take we don't take the first step at all <coughs> so that is the logic and uh, somewhere uh, when i read the secret it says that being joyful means uh, vibrating at a very high frequency which is very close to the universe's frequency and that is when uh, the law of attraction gets activated and uh, one gets what one desires so the simple trick is uh, to be joyful one has to work backwards and uh, start doing things and establish a consistent uh, joyfulness over a period of years months and uh, so that is how <clears throat> one qualifies to be uh, to be a person who can use law of attraction to attract whatever one desires so performance optimization is the first step uh, towards uh, preparing a person to to <clears throat> be a qualified law of attraction person yeah so that is why a performance optimization course and uh, the tricks are only for Uh, those are the change in perception uh, action habit and attitude yeah, thank you